Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Sophie and today I'm going to be filming me doing my makeup. Now this isn't something I would normally do, but somebody, a very lovely viewer, asked me to do this um, based specifically on the makeup I wore when I went to London in that vlog in March and they said that they liked it and they wanted to know how I did it so I was like you know what why not so if you are want any videos from me I'm probably gonna do them <laughs> so yeah um I thought why not um I wore pre-faces by saying a lot of this makeup I bought when I had well, like a year or two ago when I had a lot more disposable income so this is quite Dior heavy so I'm gonna just put that out there um before I start just because I wouldn't be able to afford all this lovely makeup now just wanted to preface that um so I'm gonna zoom in a bit I've got my mirror here um and yeah let's just have a go at doing this um, i don't know how it's gonna work if it's gonna look good or not because i've not filmed a makeup tutorial since i did that on my old youtube channel probably 10 years ago or something but we're gonna give it a go okay this is uncomfortably close to my face but for makeup it kind of has to be so oh there are people walking past there are cars arriving it's all go outside so I'm going to use my moisturiser first, and it's the Hydra Life Moisturiser by Dior. Looks like so. Um, so it's a hydrant, Hydration Race Rescue Intense Sorbet Creme. I don't know why I can't read this morning. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna... If I look down here, it's because that's when the mirror is. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that a lot. Um, so I'm trying not to get it under my nail, which is a very real um, possibility and something I absolutely hate the feeling of. So that's why I'm doing it with my finger like that. Oh. So normally when I do my makeup, it probably takes 10 to 15 minutes tops. But I feel like this video might be longer than that because I'm going to be trying to explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And my nose is very red this morning. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera how red my nose is, but I do look a bit like Rudolph. But that's fine. Um, I'm filming this at 8 in the morning. 8.08 at the moment. I'm on a Monday, so that's why there's quite a lot of traffic outside as everyone's off to work but I am filming a makeup tutorial as one does so the foundation that I'm going to use oh no I'm not going to foundation yet I'm going to do my eyeshadow now I looked at the footage and I couldn't work out exactly which eyeshadow I use I think I used this palette from Dior oh you can see yourselves um, and I think I used this one which is peach um in the dior backstage palette 2l02 slash 002 glitz but i'm going to use this top one which is called glitter strobe pink gold today which one this one just because i think it looks nicer than the peach one did um so i literally for this just use my finger and sweep it across the lid look at me using makeup terms i've not even watched a makeup tutorial video in god knows how long so how many years so i, I really don't know what i'm doing i actually wore makeup recently for the studio tour so otherwise i haven't worn makeup probably since march um yeah so that's that done and then i go in with my foundation because that's quite glittery and it can get a fallout on your face so i don't want glitter all over my face as pretty as that would look so all my brushes no most of my brushes are real techniques please don't have a go at me about how dirty they are um i will clean them this weekend and um, so i'm using the real techniques 205 which is kind of like a flat paintbrush almost and i'm using the dual forever foundation in the shade 0.5 um, which is quite pale because I'm a lot paler than 
I think I am. Um, so I literally just kind of use it like a paintbrush and apply the foundation. This is the bit that takes the longest um, of the whole makeup routine because you've got to try and blend it in as much as possible. I do think, actually I think it's a pretty good match. I mean, I'm quite red this morning. I don't know why I'm so red. If I slept funny or if I'm just puffy this morning. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that side done. Don't worry about this bag under my eye. I will put some concealer on it in a minute. Um, let's do a little bit of foundation for my chin, my chinny chin chin. And I will blend all of this down in a minute like that. Um, let's do this side. Um, so at the moment I've got this 0 0.5 shade and I've also got a 0, 0.0 shade, which is paler than this. But at the moment, I think this one's okay. And like I said, I'm gonna blend it in to my neck. So it should be okay. Now I'm gonna do my nose because it looks even more red. <laughs> um, so my nose, I think it's quite oily, maybe. I don't know what the problem with my nose is, but it doesn't hold makeup very well. So I think I need to get a new primer because I haven't been using primer recently because I don't have one that I really like. So if anyone's got any suggestions watching this for a nose primer, well, it doesn't have to be for no just for noses, but a primer that would work for my nose, please let me know because I am in the market for one. And then just my forehead left because otherwise, I'm not matching. I hope this is filming okay. I really don't know what I'm doing if that's not become apparent. Um, trying to get the foundation around my mole and not just cover the mole is quite difficult as well. <laughs> if anyone else out there is quite molly or freckly, then please let me know it's not just me in the comments. Right. That's that done, and then I'm gonna put a tiny bit on. Oh, that's more than I wanted. Um, just to do the blending of the neck. Um, I'm wearing quite a high t-shirt today, so I don't need to blend it down as much as I would normally. That's that done. Um, now I'm gonna look quite weird for a bit, because what I do next is I put my concealer on, and I'm using the Forever Dior Skin Correct concealer in a 1N shade. I think this is when I was a bit darker. Um, I bought this one and I literally do this. And I just leave it whilst I carry on doing other makeup. Um, and I feel like it goes a bit more putty and I can like blend it a bit better with my finger. Again, I'm not a makeup expert. This is just what I do. A non-dual product, yay! Um, <laughs> this is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Grip Precision Felt Eyeliner. Now I've only worn this a couple of times but it seems to work quite well and it's a very thin, I don't know if you'll even be able to see how thin that is in reality, but it's a very thin um, precision liner. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have to get a bit closer to this so I don't know if you'll be able to see me still. But I usually start about halfway through the eye, along the eye. Oh, I've done it wrong. That is the reality of doing it on camera. So sometimes you do it wrong. And then I usually go along from the end and bring it into the middle. It's going to be a thicker line because I did it uh, wrong at the top there. Um, I'm not doing a flick today because I'm not very good at flicks um, and then I bring it back from this corner of the eye into the middle 
I'm just gonna thicken it up a bit so that bit doesn't look as weird. There. So it's literally just a line above the eye. And then let me do this side as well. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Uh, so when it goes wrong, I usually just get my finger and because it's a wet liner, I try and reduce how bad it looks with my finger like that and I usually find it it does get rid of a lot of it so it's because I'm trying to do it in the mirror this way let me try and do okay because of where the mirrors are I'm going to start from the outer corner and go in but I usually wouldn't do that Okay, and now I'm gonna go from the inner corner and join it up in the middle. I've done it slightly wrong, but I'm gonna leave that bit. Um, so yeah, that's what the liner looks like. Again, it's not perfect. I've decided with eyeliner, I'm never gonna get it perfect. So I try not to spend too much time on it because it can be a bit maddening um, to sit there and do it. Um, another, all my, oh, all my eye products are non-Dior at the moment, which is good uh, <laughs> for a bit of variety. Um, so my brow product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Is it brow pomade? Dip brow pomade in medium brown. Um, and it looks a bit messy. Um, it's focusing on me and not the brow from age. Um, and then I use this brush from MAC. It's the 208 brush and it's like an angled brush um, to do my brows. So I always start on this brow, don't ask me why. And I start by filling in. So I've got quite thick brows anyway. I don't know if you can really see in the light because of the light being that. Um, but on this eye, you can see a bit. Um, they're quite thick anyway, it's just around here they're a bit more sparsely populated so what I do is I just um, try and fill them in a bit and add a bit more shape because I haven't had my eyebrows shaped in about six months um, they're just in quite a good shape naturally at the moment so I'm just leaving them um, and then I do a tiny little bit more and I go across this bit because even though it's populated quite well with hair um i want to make sure that the colors match otherwise my brow color could be a bit different um so yeah so that's all i do for the brows but as you can see it's a bit more defined and a bit more can you tell the difference i'm sure you can tell the difference okay and then starting from about halfway down again i've gone a bit thick and a bit dark on this one Never mind. And then shape the bottom. It's a bit long. Shape the end. It's quite a lot darker than I wanted. So we just work that through the brow. Okay, and I'm just going to make this one a bit darker as well to match. There we go. I've done that too far over, haven't I? I like to just use my fingers when I can just to try and even out stuff. Um, and then the mascara I'm using is this little diddy one, this handbag size one. It's actually a sample that I got sent in the post. Um, and I quite like it, so I'm just carrying on using it. It's from MAC, and it's the MAC St Stack Mascara in black. And it's got a brush like that. And I, I'm very blessed um, with, my, with my eye blushes. Um, I don't know if you can see, because I've got uh, liner on, but I do have very long eyelashes normally. So I'm usually just making them black enough for you to see over the eyeliner. 
Um, so let's just get in there and do this. I don't usually use this mirror. I usually stand in the hallway with the mirror in the hallway and put on my makeup. So this has been an experience. Put a bit more on the brush for the next eye. And I usually start in the middle, get the middle lashes done, go to the outer corner, get those dark lashes done, and then go to the inner corner. It's only as I'm saying this that I realise I have like a set method of doing things like that. Uh, it's never occurred to me before. There we go. Lashes are done. Um, and now I'm going to go finally back to this eyeliner, not eyeliner, concealer. Um, and just with my finger, pat it in. So it's a bit more, not solid, but it's a bit more sticky almost than the liquid it kind of comes out as. Um, now I've left it to sort of almost set for that period of time. So I'm just sort of pressing really quickly under the eye and it kind of lifts it a little bit. There's still a bag, um, but I think it brightens it slightly. I'm not that upset by it because I am tired um, and I haven't found a product that makes it go away completely so yeah there we go last two steps now so I'm going to go in with some powder oh no last three steps I'm going to go in with some powder this is the Christian Dior Dior Forever cushion foundation in no sorry cushion powder in light um, and it comes with one of these little beautiful sponge type things, but I don't use that. I use a Real Techniques brush, the 204, and I just get it on. And then I close my eye and I put underneath the eye. I hold my breath and I pat my nose and my mouth around my mouth and then I do kind of the t-zone bit up on my forehead there we go then I'm going to put a little bit of highlight on and I'm going to do the same color as I did my eyes um, so it is the Glitter Strobe Pink Gold. And I'm, for this, I'm using the Real Techniques Brush 206. And I'm literally gonna do that a little bit. I don't like a lot of highlight, just a little bit to give the definition on the face. I think that's the right term. You can barely see it especially on camera um, but it's there um, and the very last thing is using this pencil to do my lips so I don't use lipstick at the moment I literally just use this pencil which is the MAC lip pencil in the colour Whirl um, and I'm gonna I've got quite a defined cupid's bow um, so we're going to just you can see now just by defining it a bit more I've actually underlined my cupid's bow hang on There we go, that's more like it. Uh, 
So I kind of do the outline first of the lips. Do that. <laughs> My lips are very dry at the moment. I've bought a new lip oil that I need to try. And then I will see if that works. And yeah, I just sort of fill in the lips. Like so. And then the last step would be to spritz my face with a um, setting spray. I'm currently using the Urban Decay setting spray, but I'm not going to bother doing that as I'm just in the house today. Um, so yeah, this is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing as that has become abundantly clear, but I really enjoyed doing it for you. Uh, let me know any other videos that you might want to see. I hope the person who asked for this video is happy and I did an okay job for you um but yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye